I'm getting desperate to pull the Dragon Master Magia. All right, I didn't plan on coming to Walmart today, but or Target today, but I just I was going to eat with my mom. Shout out to my mom, and I ended up going to Target, obviously, and we found some blisters. So I figured, why not give it a chance and maybe see one more time if we get the major right? One more time, it's gonna happen, right? It's gonna happen. It's, it's it's gonna happen. It's gonna. Happen. All right, I snuck in Target to take a look, and we're in luck. I don't have my mic, so it's gonna be really quiet. Battles of Legend, Terminal Revenge. Is this actually $5.99? Because that's brutal. If that's true, this is gonna be quite expensive. It's not that many packs, but $600 Magia. Definitely worth it. The rarity here is only 20 bucks for these. That's like $10 less than Walmart. That's pretty good, actually. Hmm. Buy from Sassy Auto, use code Rux and Revenge or whatever the heck it is. It's definitely better than uh, $73 for 15 packs, but there's gonna be a major in here, so it's definitely worth it. All right, guys, we are back from Target. I didn't even plan on going to Target. I was just out and about. I was driving by Target and I was like, I just had this sense. I was like, Magia could be there. Magia could be there. And you guys know we've opened a lot of packs for Magia. We talked a lot about Magia. It's been probably the most videos I've made about one card like ever. So Magia has been a big part of the last couple of weeks on the channel. And when I was driving by that Target about to go eat with my mom, I decided, you know what, mom, you can wait for a second. I got to go buy some packs of Magia. It's like an addiction. It's not good. We got to stop it. The only way to stop it is to pull it. So as you guys saw, they did not have a crazy amount of packs. I usually don't grab all the packs there but I did this time as a special occasion. Honestly, at $4.50 anyway though, nobody should be buying these. I mean, the, the prices of these are absolutely ridiculous in stores. So 15 packs I grabbed. There's never an opportunity. I mean, this is never worth it. The only way it's worth it is if we pull one of the big QCRs and it would have to be like one of the top like three or four uh, to even make our money back on this. I think we spent like 70 something dollars. So honestly, that is going to be really difficult, but I had to give myself a chance. Dragon Master Magia, I had to try to get it. If we don't get it this time, I mean, it might not be meant to be. I mean, I went to Target. I went to Walmart. I opened over six sealed cases. Like at this point, it's either like we're going to have to, I don't know, maybe my local store. Maybe that's why well, we opened some from my local store too. We actually did that. So I opened some from the local store. Didn't have luck there. I've literally tried every avenue and we've not been able to pull the card. And look. It's a great card and everything, but at this point, it's personal, okay? It's personal. If I haven't pulled it yet, I, I can't I can't stop. So look, here's the giveaway for this video. Every card except the Magia. If we pull the Magia, I keep the Magia. Everything else is being given away to you guys, so just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Will we finally pull it in these 15 packs? I mean, the ratio is not on our side, but at the same time, it's a very hard card to pull. One in 100 boxes. We have not quite opened 100 boxes yet. So eventually we might get to that number. And of course, the card is still crazy in terms of price. I don't think it's going down until there's a reprint. And uh, yeah, which is originally I thought it would it would go down initially. I was wrong about that, obviously, because it has gone up, if anything. It's like, I think, 600 something dollars for near mint. There's not very many available right now because, uh, you know, it's QCR only. So there's only like 50, 60, 70 available or have that have been available. I think there's even less than that. There's like 10 available now, last I checked. So there's not a lot of potential when it comes to buying the card. So I think the card, based on the hype of everything that's been going on, is probably going to hang around, you know, a very expensive price until we finally get a reprint, which at this rate, I mean, this is what I would expect. I would expect it to be a year or less. We've kind of talked about this already. So it's probably going to be not that long till we get a reprint. The thing is, if we do not get a reprint, like ever, you know, there, there's the faction of people that believe this, this card is going to be the ultra stonks. And they're like, you're crazy for not buying it at 500 because you're going to make bukus of money when you when you buy it it's gonna always go up they're wrong first of all but if we don't get a reprint for a while this card i mean this card could get to a crazy price if people uh you know have fomo they think that they're they're gonna miss the train they better buy now and eventually what can that can turn into is crazy prices in the short term but the key to this kind of stuff is don't look at it in the short term so look here's the thing i i I've talked so much about this card, but it has been really amazing because there are definitely two sides to this, I mean, multiple sides to this thing, and people are sticking with their guns, and I respect it. I respect it. Look, even if I think you're wrong, I respect you for sticking with your guns. Not, I mean, a lot of people think it won't get a reprint. They think that that's 
that's got to be the belief, I guess, is that there will not be a reprint. Because if there's no reprint, I could, yeah, I could see the card being really expensive for a while. If there is a reprint, it's definitely going to hurt big time. And I don't want to be the one, or I don't want to tell you guys that it's going to go to the moon when, you know, all it takes is Konami to say, you know what, card's really expensive. We could cash in on that again, which by the way, they do with every other card except 10K Dragon, which seems to be people's favorite thing. But what about 10K Dragon? 10,000 Dragon didn't get a reprint. So why would this get a reprint? Well, there's uh, another 9,999 cards plus every set since we released Battles of Legend Armageddon like three years ago. So there's probably 12,000 other cards. Almost every single one of those has a reprint. And if they don't have a reprint, it's probably because they suck besides the 10K Dragon. Uh, or they just have, they haven't mattered enough to get a reprint. So I'm going with the evidence of all those other cards versus the evidence of one particular card, which was a definitely a different situation because that had its own rarity, 10,000 Dragon rarity. It was a 10,000 rarity. And honestly, I am surprised that card doesn't have a reprint. I would think it would have happened by now. We have Infernoid, Electro Blaster. And, and do I even have a problem with this card being so expensive? Not really. I mean, I don't have a problem with that people are excited about. I think that's great that you're excited. I think it's awesome that people are wanting to collect this card. Like, the, the question I have is, how much of it is about the collection, right? How much of it is about collecting the card versus having an expensive card and hoping that it goes to $2,000 or whatever? I think there's a lot of that mixed in. So there's a lot of fear of missing out on the big card. There's a lot of, oh, this, this card's going to be crazy. I don't want to miss out on the train. There's a lot of that mixed in. There's a lot of hype in the market. There's a lot of people talking about the card. And I think people underestimate, there's another damage card, just how big of a factor that is toward the price when there's so few available on the market, because there's only like a few of them that you can buy. And once that reprint comes, which it inevitably will, it will. Once that reprint comes, that hype... It goes, first of all, it's going to be down anyway, just because of the time. Because like, once we get to the next set, people are going to forget about Magia. I mean, they're not going to completely forget, but they're like, okay, next set, new thing, new shiny thing, Infinite Forbidden, very cool. Speaking of Infinite Forbidden, if you want to buy some, you can get 5% off using my discount code down below with Sassy Auto. I also have it on Ruxin34.com. All my affiliate links are on there. So if you can't find the affiliate links in the description, it's too messy, too much stuff going on, go to Ruxin34.com, click the affiliate links tab. So we added that over there. Very exciting, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to find those, get your 15 or your 5% off. So go check that out. But if you want, you know, when Infinite Forbidden rolls around and there's, a, by the way, a lot of awesome cards in Infinite Forbidden, like there's a lot. Millennium Shield retrain me. Yeah, that's going to be, I hope that gets QCR. It's going to be epic. Uh, there's some, I think some other cool stuff. I mean, I've heard some good stuff about the set. Void Breach and uh, Shining Star Dragon. I think that's a short print. There's a lot of good stuff. So I think that, you know, once, I mean, right now we're in the moment. We're in the, the craziness. We're in the enigma that is Blue Eyes uh Ma Ma dragon master magia not blue eyes the enigma that is dragon master magia and when you're in the moment it seems like oh man this card is gonna go to the moon it's the card people are excited about it not necessarily gonna stay so keep that in mind when you're in that moment it's gonna it's gonna probably go down you take this from a guy who was in the covid peak my collection loses over a hundred thousand dollars as i waited out as i don't sell which i don't regret this at all because I was never planning on selling my collection, but I have a lot of PSA graded cards that if I had sold in 2021, 2020, all that stuff, I would probably have a hundred thousand more dollars than I do right now, which is a lot, obviously, for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I should have probably sold them in, in, in that in that regard, but I didn't. And look, that's that's what happens sometimes. There's there's these there's peaks, there's these valleys. One of the one of the major peaks right now is Magia. It might not have peaked. It might still go up. I'm not saying like it's never going to go up again or in 20 years it won't be up or whatever. But this card starting at the price it's at, there's it's got to go down in the short term. Like it, it might go up like this and then but eventually it's going to it's going to hit that. It's going to do that. It might come back up later, you know, 5, 10, whatever. We don't know how modern's going to react. We still don't know how starlights are going to react because five years is a pretty good time period. But the thing is, they had those QCR prints like right away. And like right before that, they were like at 1500 bucks. So they were really expensive. So they were starting to make their move toward being really collectible because they're so hard to pull. But you got to wait a long time for those. And you never know what will happen with the... Uh, you never know what will happen with the reprints and all that different stuff. So there's a lot of different things that can happen in the future that we just cannot predict. Like, like will Yu-Gi-Oh! still be popular in 20 years? We don't actually know that. I hope it is. I mean, because that's what I do. I hope that it's going to be expensive. We don't actually know for sure that that's going to happen. You really can't know anything. You can guesstimate, but you don't know for sure. So right now, Meijo is expensive. It's, it's an expensive card. 
I want to pull it because I think it's awesome. And but obviously you guys are interested in it. So it's like, I mean, it's me. I do YouTube. I do stuff that you guys want to see. And clearly people like watching stuff. Me go from Asia. So that's a win win for me. I want to get the card. You guys want to watch it. It's very controversial right now. And look, I don't do a lot of controversial stuff. There's an ant on my mat. I got it. I don't know a lot of controversial stuff. But when it comes to just a card being controversial, that's that's easy money. I mean, and by easy money, I mean easy videos. And, you know, that's what we got to do. So we might as well search for it, right? So we might as well go for it. And by easy, <laughs> I say easy money and I'm spending $73 on 15 blisters. So maybe, maybe not literally, but <laughs> it is great content, right? So it's super fun. And honestly, I prefer something like this. Like I'd prefer us to have a really controversial card in the set versus a boring set, right? Because I think if Magia was not a QCR only and it had secret QCR, we'd probably be over this set. I mean, I would probably still be searching for it because I didn't pull it. Because guys wouldn't care as much. And then it would just be kind of like, eh, you know, you'd be like, oh, I don't care about this set that much. It's not that interesting. So honestly, it's fun. It's fun to have something controversial. It's fun to have something interesting, right? And I think we can all say and agree that this is definitely controversial and fun. So the thing is, I don't really know where to go from here because we've done Walmart, we've done Target, we've done, I, I, I might just have to get more cases and do another live stream. And I hate doing second live streams, but I want this card. I want this card really bad. So, <laughs> and I want to grade it. It'd be so fun to set it off. We have Earthbound, Singingen. This is always treated as a Millennium card, which I think there are Millennium cards in uh, Infinite Forbidden coming up. So that's fun. Uh, and Gigantic Sprite, or no, mate. There were Millennium cards in the last set, so maybe not in this uh, but I thought there was some. Maybe not. Well, well, Millennium Shield, isn't that a Millennium card? It's got to be. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. That's coming, like, very soon, actually. So we'll be figuring that out as we go. I'm excited. Millennium Shield, we will pull. We will not let Lighted defeat us like Magia has done so far. But don't worry, there's two packs left. Don't worry. We're going to do this. Of course, let me know your thoughts on Magia. Not that you haven't already in the other five videos we've done about it, whether we're just talking about it, whether we're opening for it. And this wasn't even supposed to be a discussion and I just can't help myself. It's just such an interesting topic. And I, I ordered something for back here, guys. Speaking of, I ordered a shelf. We're going to put some stuff up back there. It's going to be cool. I didn't actually make a big decision. I wasn't going to put the poster up. It was just too much trouble. I might put that up in some other parts of my room just to like maybe when we do a room tour at some point, which will happen. I'll show you guys. So hopefully soon you guys will see something back here. So it's not just blank you know very boring okay last pack magic make sure to subscribe oh yeah you guys already saw the announcement for 250k one of the things we're doing so make sure you subscribe because that's going to be really fun so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you're tired of hearing about magia i apologize <laughs> i apologize but it is it's been fun all right last chance in this one we got we got some damage cards in the back there a little bit on the top it's not too bad let's see if we can pull it and last pack magic blazing cartesia we have medallion synchro panic Earthbound, a resonance, and oh yeah. Okay, we've oiled it up yet again. 15 more packs added to the tally. Eventually, we will pull our nemesis. This is honestly our biggest nemesis like in a while. So, Magia, congrats, you win this round. But I'm not giving up yet. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Ernesto Dian, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F. Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.